Okay, so, uh, there's a gist to this question, but in simple form, I was asked, when does escape become surrender? And, um, you know, I often talk about enlightenment and escape. You know, I, I came into, I mean, in various 12-step programs for addiction. And um, I think uh, for, uh, I think for me, because I had uh, uh, I had a, a white light spiritual experience, slightly different to most, but most people do spiritual work for uh, getting out of pain, but not for enlightenment. Um, so it's just like, I'll do enough spiritual work so I'm not drinking, or I'll do enough spiritual work so that I haven't got a pain in the back of my neck. But I really don't want to be, I don't want to go all the way and and surrender, I mean, abs uh, and surrender, surrender to divinity, surrender to the infinite. I mean, that's not my, you know, I'm not willing to give it all up for that. Um, and But I, I'll do enough just to get rid of the horrible things, but not no more. Uh, so in my view, is that surrender? It's not really surrender. I mean, you could say it's surrender, but partial surrender, you know, or conditional surrender, like I'll surrender just enough to get out of some difficulties and then I'll carry on being an ego and carry on just being my personality, uh, you know, because I don't want to, I don't want to give up everything for that. Uh, you know, and um, I, have, I have nothing against that. I think that's fine. You know, but I do think that if you, you know, if you hold on to things and just do things for just getting out of pain or enough discomfort, the other things you're holding on to will eventually come and bite you on, on the ass because um, you're not willing to go all the way. So it's like those things just wait like bombs and they flare up and then you have to work on those things, which is fine. I think that's the way most people do it. When things flare up, they work on them rather than have a burning desire just to, you know, com you know, completely surrender to, you know, like Buddha said, you know, you, ca you can't, you can't, um, I love what Buddha said, you know, the destiny of everyone who's identified with their body and their thoughts is old age, suffering and death. They, uh, I agree with him 100%. So he said, look, all you guys that are identified with your stories and your head and your body, you have to at some point experience old age, suffering and death. I think he said poverty as well. So that's your lot. And you're going to reincarnate and be in the story for all, you know, ever, what seems like ever. And then reincarnate, coming back, reincarnate and coming back, identify the, the body and the, the thinking. And you have to experience death and suffering over and over again. But there is a way, Buddha said, there is a way to completely finish it. So you never have to come back. You never have to suffer, go through old age, death, people you love dying and, and finish it forever. And that's enlightenment. Let go of every single attachment you have to this world. Uh, realize the enlightened state and there is no more suffering. There is no more going through the, the, the terror of the body dying or the ego dying. You know, what about all my story? Surely I need to keep that forever, all my cherished memories and stuff. So uh, what about what about all these people I'm attached to? Surely I can keep those forever. No, let go of every single attachment and realize the enlightened state and you're free from suffering for all eternity. So I love that. Um, so that type of surrender, is that surrendering just to, you know, I've got, I've got a, you know, I've got a bit of pain with this relationship. I'll just do a bit of spiritual work until I feel a little bit better and then I'll stop. So that's not that type of surrender, but I, it's good. I mean, at least you're doing some spiritual work just to, you know, get out of a bit of suffering there and then stop and just carry on, which is fine. So the commitment to completely surrender every attachment, I'll use Buddhic, Buddha's language for today, every single attachment you're holding on and to be willing to do that, uh, you know, the, the, the thing of complete surrender you know, um, I want Buddhahood, I want enlightenment, I'll do whatever it takes rather than have my attachments bite me on the ass one after the other for lifetime after lifetime, old age, suffering and death. So that type of surrender, that type of commitment, like you might get, I'm sure there's monasteries around the world, Buddhist monasteries, where they're just sitting and oming nonstop, you know, for enlightenment, 100% dedication and devotion. I'll either the body will drop dead or I'll reach that enlightened state. 
So that kind of ferocity of complete devotion to ending it all, ending the world of suffering, duality, the thinking one is the story in the head. Um, so that type of surrender. So when does it change? What's or what's the difference between just trying to get out of pain and suffering and wanting wanting to surrender everything for the infinite? So I'll use that languaging today. Then um that for, I mean, I was lucky. Uh, you know, um, I did have a near-death spiritual experience. I also had a, a a white light spiritual experience with a teacher that was asking me, what are you? What are you beyond your thoughts? What are you beyond that? And then the infinite light, um, infinite light and love. There is no world. There was no me. There is no this. There is no that and nothing else. And there is nothing else. Just infinite light and love beyond uh, all recognition. So, um, so that was very helpful in knowing the truth is not in this world in the sense of holding on to all the attachments if 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 one is willing to sacrifice all attachments for that and um uh so when so when does when does getting out of pain change to complete surrender well for me you know complete surrender is like a, a it's like an inner burning intensity just to um, not give, not stop the spiritual practice, whether it's um, self inquiry, uh, whether whatever it is, uh, whether it's cancelling beliefs, whether it's um, however one accesses uh, getting close to the infinite and burning off all attachments, um, and um, uh, it's like a burning intensity. Is that now? There was a question like do i need to have a conversation with myself uh, that can be helpful like uh, i now commit i now commit to the infinite that i will devote the rest of my life to burning off all attachments resentments fears personal story identification with the body and and i pray i pray for absolute willingness to um to do whatever it takes, or I pray for the willingness to go to any extreme for that and to sacrifice all attachments and all thoughts and all things that my ego desires from this world. Uh, please give me the courage, the willingness, and the desire, if it be your will. So, you know, different prayers can be said. and uh, But it's more, uh, you know, getting that burning, I really believe that burning intensity can can also happen gradually through just um an inner an inner intensity an inner intention an inner spiritual devotion to the infinite to just uh, you could say you state to yourself you want that and you put that above absolutely everything in this world everything your ego thinks it wants um and then uh, and then you know if you were to use 12 step and you pray for the willingness to have absolute intensity and courage for that and not to put anything else before the quest for complete liberation uh you know then those type of prayers uh you, you can also brainwash yourself you know i affirm that i'm willing to do whatever it takes and sacrifice everything for that and just saying those type of things you know it will come uh if it be uh god's will shall we say the capacity for that is there but i do think you know in most cases that it would come to you when you you want that with all your heart and all your soul uh you know my view is it will come sooner or later um so uh let me try and say the question again to see if anything else comes up to me when does it change from escaping pain or just doing the spiritual work just to get some relief to absolute surrender well, you have to know what surrender means. I mean, you don't have to know. Usually what's good is getting a glimpse of the infinite and then knowing you want that at all times uh, and you're willing to sacrifice everything for that. I mean, that's the meaning, the inner meaning of it. But the intellectual meaning is, I mean, but it's said in all spiritual pathways to put nothing before that. You know, if, you, if it is to put nothing in this world before that, can it be putting your head and your thinking before that? Can you be putting your body and the life of the what seeming life of your body before that? Can you be putting a lover before that? Can you be putting money before that? You know, or or any of the other classical 
things that humans do to put things before that like well i need to have um i need to earn a million pounds first i'll do that later on i need to get a girlfriend so i'll, I'll have a relationship with a girlfriend that, uh, for a few years and then i might get around to that later on um you know um there's a good uh binge series on netflix today so i'll i'll definitely want to do that first so you know that i mean that's how you know that's probably what my ego would say why don't you get a girlfriend make some more money and uh, watch a few and uh, watch a few binge series on on tv so those things are more important than um than that so i hope that's helpful uh and i'll stop there